Hi, Pisces. Let's do your daily tarot reading and find out what messages Spirit have for you today, what you need to know. Spirits, what's happening with Pisces? What's happening with Pisces? Okay, two more shuffles, Pisces. See what's going on. We have the Four of Wands, Six of Swords, Hey Pisces, you're moving into calmer water, and the Four of Wands is 11 11. You're on the right path. The Three of Pentacles, the Three of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, the Moon, Cancer Energy, the Two of Coins, the Page of Cups. And the Ten of Coins. Okay. Okay, so there's there's the past. You are thinking about the past. You're thinking about some heartbreak with the Three of Swords. Something very painful that happened in a connection with someone. someone you were very close to let's clarify and see what's going on Pisces why is the four of wands here I'm seeing you you know you're moving on into calmer water Pisces but you kind of go back and forth because you are you are having thoughts of the past and hurt from the past. And you could be dealing with an Aquarius or have Aquarius in your chart, but the star is here, so I'm seeing a wish fulfillment and a great celebration that's going to take place and it has to do with your money here I feel like with the nine of pentacles or your home why is the six of swords here the six of swords is earned success yeah it's like you're being blessed Pisces and there's someone here I feel like is watching you. This could be an Aries. It's someone who's very defensive, guarded up, that's showing up here in your energy. I'm, I'm seeing you doing your own thing here, Pisces. And there's someone here watching you. You can just see this King of Wands, male or female. There's someone here that is watching you, but you have your head turned to the side, so you're not really seeing it. This is a new person coming into your life. This is new love. I'm, I see this person um, speaking to you or sending you a message. 
that comes across as being very charming. It's a very honest person. Why is the Knight of Swords here? The Four of Swords. Whoever this person is that's watching you, Pisces, I can see this person right here so clearly. This person knows that you've been through a lot um, in your past and that you're, you have your defenses up, your guards up. And so um, this is someone that is holding back with the Four of Pentacles. They're not wanting to rush into your energy here. They're, they don't want to be intrusive in any way. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? Okay, so we have Temperance, the Ten of Swords, the Five of Wands. We have Sagittarius energy with Temperance. I, I'm seeing you fighting an inner battle with with the Five of Wands here. It's like you're fighting an inner battle over this painful ending because there's this painful ending that's showing up in your energy. But you are working and building um, a stable foundation for yourself. That's the strong energy here. But it's like a maybe a constant battle to fight off this painful ending. But I'm seeing you, you know, going with the flow, doing your own thing with the Nine of Pentacles energy and working on your own wish fulfillment because you've come out of the tower. The, whoever caused you this painful ending and this hurt You've come out of that dark place, that tunnel, where you could have just really just had to stay in bed for a while and try to comprehend what just happened. Because um, with you reaching the star here, that means that you've been through a very dark and painful place. So the Three of Wands, this is you turning your back on the past, looking out into the future now. And we have 11. 11, you're on the right path. Why is the Three of Wands here? The Ten of Pentacles. The Three of Swords. You're turning your back, just like I told you, you can, you have your back to the past, looking out, waiting for a new ship to come in, which will be arriving soon. And the reason the Three of Wands is here, the reason you're doing that is because you are dealing with someone here that's showing up as the Knight of Wands. So this person um, is someone that keep seeing this for you guys a very unstable immature energy someone that you put your your trust into and this person betrayed your trust I'm trying to think of the the right words I'm looking for here it's like I feel like you felt abandoned by this person, Pisces. They caused you a lot of pain, a lot of heartbreak. And this could have been, um, this is someone that you, that you considered to be um, someone who you felt completed with, a family member. 
it, this person it, that caused you all of this heartbreak, it's someone that you felt like was going to be there forever with you. This was your, this Ten of Pentacles here, this was your life that you were investing in with this person. And you're now having to turn your back on it, you know, and look out into the future. There's no choice here. And the Nine of Pentacles, which is showing up next. This is you being single. And very abundant, too. I'm seeing, like, unexpected money or something here that's huge when it comes to your material world that you're not seeing yet. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? This Nine of Pentacles, this financial gain, is you turning your pain into gain with the Five of Cups. You gave your love to someone um, that came into your life as being very charming. This person approached you. This person tried to um, come into your life and invest with you. And I feel like... He, I feel like you didn't, you didn't chase this person. This person was chasing you. But there's something here that you're not seeing with the moon. Like, why has everything changed like this? We have a tower... The Queen of Wands. This person that we're talking about here, there's a lot of attraction in this connection. You're showing up as the King and the Queen of Wands. This could be a Scorpio. This connection came crashing down like this for a reason, Pisces with the tower. And it's like you, you're you getting it. You've learned lessons out of this connection. But there's something here that's just really not clear to you. Like the way this suddenly ended, like so suddenly. Even though there's so much passion and you gave so much into this connection and this, this sudden abrupt ending happened. Why is the Page of Swords here? This is Page of Swords. This is a student. We have the Empress Taurus energy. Queen of Pentacles. You're trying to learn something, Pisces. I feel like you're trying to gain some information here because this Page of Swords is you. And out of this tower, you're you're gaining some type of information in, in your life that is bringing in... Look at how green these cards are. It's like slowly but surely you're walking into becoming the queen of pentacles. And that is, there's no gender here, but you're, you're looking at your money, your stability, and becoming very strong. Becoming the empress, the queen of all queens, bringing new ideas to life. And then... We have the two of coins. Why is the two of coins here? The page of coins. The, 
this connection is a soul connection. This is someone that you could have been married to, shared a home with. There could be children here with the Ten of Cups. You could have been dealing with a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpio. There's a younger energy here looking at you, Pisces. I'm I I'm seeing like someone new coming into your life up there, but I also see a younger energy here that's watching you. This person sees you as someone who's very mature. They see you as the king of cups and being very stable in control of your emotions, very loving and giving and um I want to see something here because I can see this person clearly, clearly looking over at you. And this is a younger person than you. But we have this nightmare energy here, the nine of swords. Why is the nine of swords here? This person wants to apologize to you, I feel like, Pisces. This is someone who's wanting to come in right, but they're holding back. This could be a Taurus. You could be doing something spiritual here, Pisces, or um, something where there's a lot of recognition with the Six of Wands. And this person's very much up in their head about this energy that you're in right now. Because I feel like you're committed to something higher now. It's like you've turned into the Empress. You're not the same person that you were before when you were in this connection with this person. And so this is why this person is holding back. I'm sending you this message. <clears throat> we have the Page of Cups. Because this is someone that does want to apologize to you, Pisces. Why is the Page of Cups here? <clears throat> okay, so we have Leo Energy with the Sun. The Four of Cups. And the Devil. You could be dealing with a Capricorn that walked away into a third party connection. And this person could be a Virgo too. We have the hermit there. But, this person is feeling very connected to you. I feel like this energy here that's showing up, Pisces, with um, like this nightmare energy that we saw over here, with the devil showing up now, it's coming from both sides. You're both up in your head thinking about each other. You're, this is a soul twin flame connection that's showing up here that this person knows that you are their soulmate. And there's a <clears throat> there's a connection here that I feel like <clears throat> I feel like you're I don't know how to break it. It's like it's a missed opportunity. That this person wants to heal with you. But they're showing up as a page. And you're showing up as the empress. So this person's showing up very immature. Why is the four of cups here? This person is ghosting you. And it's become a heavy, heavy burden on them. 
It's not that easy just to walk away from you. And then we're coming back into this Ten of Coins here, which is the same as the Ten of Pentacles, the Moon, the High Priestess, and Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, the King of Pentacles, or Aries, Gemini's here, very strong. This cycle's closed out. This Cancer is hair strong too. But you could be dealing with any sign Pisces. This per this person and this connection here. It's like neither one of you can let go of it. You're both clinging to each other, but it's energetically. And um it's something that you're keeping to yourself. And this devil energy is marrying you, doing the exact same thing, keeping it to themselves, the way they're thinking about you. Why is the devil here? Tell me about this devil. I feel like this person is being um, very sneaky here, Pisces, and watching you try. Like, there's a determination here to gain some type of information about you. This person wants to take a leap of faith. This person's wanting to take a leap of faith, Pisces, but they're carrying a lot of baggage. And I feel like they're they're wanting to release this baggage and send you a message, an apology. They want a new beginning with you. They're wanting to take this leap of faith. But this leap of faith is taking them um, towards the Empress. So you're you're showing up as being intimidating to this person. person wants to say to Pisces what does this person want to say to Pisces they're just standing back here watching and it's showing up as a very stubborn energy here finding out the truth crushed me that could be your energy. There could have been something that you found out here, Pisces, that crushed you. And I am different now. See, you are different now. And I feel like this is like uh, you finding out some type of a truth really, really hurt. I wish you would come back. I hope I will see you again sometime. My life is not as together as it seems. On the outside, you look like you're in a wish fulfillment. I'm seeing you here being single and um, you're taking care of your money, your finances, your stability, and wishes are coming true for you. Um, you're on the right path. If there these wishes or this celebration hasn't reached you yet, I'm seeing celebrations and wishes coming into your life and blessings. 
but there's there's two energies here. There's someone here that's new, showing up as new love. And then you've got someone here from your past that just is very stubborn. And um, it's almost like this past person is maybe in jail or in a self-imposed imprisonment of the mind, their own worst enemy. So let me get you some advice, Pisces. Advice for Pisces spirits. What does Pisces need to know? You are bright energy. Color uplifts you. Let go of a fixed plan. Allow for spontaneity and growth. <coughs> Sorry, Pisces. Yeah, kind of let go of a fixed plan a little bit. Because it's like I'm seeing you here going with the flow. You know, like I feel like you do have a, a plan. But be willing to look outside the box. Be, feel, receive abundance. All that you desire is achievable. And on the bottom of the deck, you are the breath. Listen and connect to your intuition. All right, Pisces, I love you guys. Thank you for being here with me. And thank you for liking and subscribing and your comments. And um, I will see you guys tomorrow, Pisces. Namaste.